as well. Adam, oh no! So it's my only revenge in first then? No, Mum, who said I had to wear them? So it's your mum? Not yet, Ralph, no. Be honest, Darren. Do you think Pamela will notice? No. But I know it's even less kill than yesterday. Hello, Pamela, it's you Saturday. So who are you revenging then? William. He's the one who started it. I'm going to stitch it up good and proper. Wish me luck with a dragon. See ya. See ya. This is not like Oh, 
Alistair. I'm so sorry. What? I bet you granny being ill. I wish there was something I could do. Tell them what? Fifty tickets. It's very sad. The doctors say she may only be with us a few more days. A week at the most. Is there anything I can do? It sounds a bit weird, but my granny's last wish was to see me get engaged. Engaged? You're eleven. I know. It's crazy. But so is she. It's part of the illness. I'd love to help you, but we can't get married. But we could get engaged. For granny, while she's still with us, we don't have to mean it. Well, okay. In that case, I'll do it. Result! I either taught myself show up onto concert standard or did a bit of cheating. There we go. How easy was that? One show up and piece recorded, one contract signed. I'm Misery Chatterjee and the term for the revenge is buying a chocolate fountain for my useless brother do hereby promise not to be as good as Alistair tomorrow. Signed, Misery. I thought you might have been lying when you said you could play Chopin. I wouldn't lie to you. No. See you tomorrow. She thinks she's telling the truth. So? Who cares if the Chopin was played by misery? So long as my stupid brother and sister are forced to admit that I'm better at music than they are. Oh, misery! Much. Sanjay's just finished doing that thing with his shoulder. And Pamela's just started a tortured poetry. That's not a rounders bat. It was either this or a ping pong ball. Where is Alistair? Behind the curtain. Revenge. Well, I have no hesitation in saying that the winner of 
Good morning. 